Good afternoon and welcome to our, our booth today. Uh, we appreciate you joining us here at Surge Ferrari and we would like to uh, introduce Steve Zanay, who is our technical support manager at Surge Ferrari. Steve has been a uh, member of our team for many years and is quite well known in the marine industry. And he is here today to discuss stamoid fabrication and tips. Uh, so unless there are any questions or comments beforehand, I'll turn this over to Steve and let's get started. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Um, again, Steve Zanay with Surge Ferrari Technical Support Manager. I'm going to kind of go over some of our, our, our stamoid marine products, each, each product and application and how to use it and where it would be used. So let's share my screen with you here. I mean, welcome to IFAI Expo first virtual trade show. So this is going to be pretty much every, this presentation is just on stamoid or marine fabrics. Uh, this is our new stamoid sample cards for stamoid light or single coated material. Uh, every every one of our sample cards are individually single page, so you can if you have a customer that wants to only look at a light or top or open or heavy cover, you don't have to have them confused with too many choices. So if you haven't gotten any of our newer sample cards, uh, put a request in our, go, go to our, our booth here and put drop a business card and put a request for new sample cards. This is this is a single page. It shows you what their fabrics are. Stanley Light, it's a single coated fabric. It's 8.2 ounces, very lightweight, it's strong. It's um, great application. And I'm just go through some of the things you would use it for and there's all the color selections there. Stamway top, it's a double coated PVC coated, um, 12 and three quarters ounces. Uh, there's a selection of covers, colors. On, on our sample cards, you'll see um, a couple of content or at, underneath each color, which the width of each of the colors. Some colors come in three, come in one, some come in two. Here's our Stamway open. They're more heavier, 19 and a half ounce uh, marine cover material. And our Stan White heavy coverage, it's a, it's a little bit, it's like open, only it's single coated. So it's, if you want something that's really strong and beefy and durable to uh, for outdoor covers and things like this, but only coated on one side. Here's some of the applications with Stan White, light, top, open, and heavy cover applications you use it for. Now, you even though it says Stanwood Light is good for equipment covers or flybridge covers, some some customers will use Stanwood Top in the same application. It's just their own personal preference. Some like a little bit, some like a double coated, so easier to keep clean on both sides of the fabric. So this is just a, a an app a, uh, a suggestion, but you can people can use different fabrics back and forth with different applications. Here's some of the list of uh, boat builders already using Stanway when they first brand new. You know, Albemarle, Cal Cobble, you know, Grady White, uh, Tierra Yachts, Yellowfin Yachts, Viking Yachts use Stanway, uh, you know, pretty much exclusive on all their new covers when they come out of the factory. Stanway top and open are both double coated, so you can use a high frequency welder, you can use a hot, a hot air welder or a wedge welder. Also, when you're using a double coated Stanway, top or open because it's um, it's PVC. So you can use a, a high end super glue. A cheap dollar store super glue will not bond very well, but if you go into a nice high end super glue like air, air um, model airplane glue or um, HH66 is another good adhesive for bond stamway very well. You could actually glue stamway seams together on a top with just either one of the uh, good super glues or HH66, you won't have to weld it or even sew it. You'll get you'll get that strong of a bond. Here's here's Stanwood Light in the uh, application. This is what a majority of the boats on the East Coast, Southwest or Southeast, and up in the nor Northeast on the East Coast of Florida use a lot of Stanwood Light for this application. It's a sport fishing boat, and uh, they hooked it up top of the bridge there, and they come back to cover transfer. This is just to keep the sun off off the cockpit and off out of the um the cabin down below here's some sun flight you know with everybody's trying to get some protection from the uv and the sun protection 
why they're all in a bolt. So there's not a lot more uh, people using stemoid light only because it's it's easy to compact, stows out of the way, but pops up pretty quickly for sunshade. Sunshade on the boats. Um, again, using the stemoid light. It gives it gives the passengers a little bit more comfort when they're out there and keeps the sun off the upholstery. Another application is uh, jet ski covers uh, up on the on the up on the bigger boats. Jet ski covers, tender covers, small covers. Uh, it's probably something that's easy to store. With a tender cover like this, now you can make people you will take put the cover on the boat, but then use that as a storage container and put a lot of other stuff in there. While they're under, you know, while they're, they're driving around, just to give more more free space on the boat. Another thing for standwood light is a full cover on the left is a, a giant sailboat sitting in the water. This gives the, the the home the people that are living on the boat a lot of protection from the sun. It makes it a lot cooler down in the cabin, so they do have air conditioning. Doesn't have to run as much. It just it just deflects a lot of that heat from there. And then the other boat on the right is another boat that sits in the water quite often. You get a you get a full cover to keep protect the boat waterproof and keeps the sun off everything. Standby light on the far up left uh, is a chair cover, bottom covers as table covers, hatch covers, and then uh, steering pod covers up on the top of a, some of the fly sport fishing boats. Something we want to keep the sun and the, and the dirt and the stuff off of all your instruments. Stanway light and heavy cover, they're both single coated. So we're back, the back side is, got, is treated with a nano top technology. On the left hand picture, you're seeing a blue ink drop. Is, this is an un, untreated back side of a fiber. On the right is what Stanway top and heavy cover, or Stanway light and heavy cover look like. Where, so if you, have, if you don't have it treated, when you've got condensation in the morning, you get the cover on a boat. You got, you got dirt, you got uh, gasoline, you got diesel soot laying on the on the deck of the boat when the condensation evaporates in the morning it picks up all this dirt and it pulls it up to the cover and the cover pretend, prevents it from going into the atmosphere so now without a treatment on the back side of it you have all this pollution and, and th things going in there eating away at the fibers and that's what breaks the breaks the fabric down so with our nano top technology you kind of protects the back side of the fibers for you to get more, more life expand out of the fabric Stanway top applications, upper, you know, upper upper left hand side pictures. There's a there's a bimini top on a boat. Also an enclosure. They'll use they'll cut strips of the stanway strips for facing around the enclosures. Um, and you see a lot of a lot of it in the U.S. We do a lot of whites, off whites, creams, snow whites, and ivories, because people want a big boat like this. They want something that blends in with the in, within the gel coat, so it looks like it's part of the boat. And here's more other applications with Stanway top. They're, again, they're using the Stanway fabric around the outside of the, the, in the eyes and glass to get protection to for the uh, installation of snaps and zippers. So you get a nice clean look on the boat. Other applications for Stanway top is tops, big tops, um, smaller bimini tops, foldable tops, anything you want. Advantage with Stanway because it's coated. If you made a bimini top out of it, you can fold it back and forth and it's not going to crease, it's not going to, it's not going to crack on you. So it just holds up pretty well. Another application on some of the bigger boats, they have the, the hard tops with the roofs are cut out. They'll use stanway top for the retractable roof. Something that's very flexible that we can take opening and shutting. That's why they want to open the boat. This way they want to get the sun in, but they don't want the wind blowing through the sides. Stanway open is used for large tops on the bottom right hand side, a very large uh, freestanding top. But also I find in Stanway uh, open works great for enclosure panels for strips to cut around it because of the fibers in the in the open are four times larger than the ones in the, in the top. So when you go to sew it, you have less puckering. It lays a lot smoother. You get a, a much, much cleaner look by using Stanway open for your enclosure panels as opposed to using a top or a light. It's 102 inches wide you know, as well. Here's a sailboat dodger, very beefy, made out of stand open. Um, these sailboat dodgers take a lot of beating, but 
you know, the waves coming over top of them, they're out there on, out near in the ocean, or the, the sailor will throw his duffel bag and a bunch of other stuff on top the top. So it's got to be pretty rigid framework. Also, the other two bo bottom pictures are some very large banded tops, structure tops that there's no enclosure on this. So you need something of fabric that's very strong, waterproof, because they want to keep everything clean. But also you get offshore with something like this with no enclosure to block the wind. You don't have to worry about the wind getting up underneath it and, and blowing the top off because it's a very, very strong and durable fabric for that. Stand weight heavy cover, uh, sailboat up there. It's basically used, designed for heavy covers for winter snow load. But this, this boat down below, down below, uh, it's a 255 foot, and they used heavy cover for the tender covers. So the tender covers are 23 foot long. This, this boat's out in the ocean quite a bit. So they want something that's very durable when the boat's out with the cover on while the boat, the, the, the 255 foot boats tra uh, trailing or driving around, cruising around. Here's a pattern. Uh, people will pattern an enclosure and then you lay it on your fabric and trace around where you want to and, and cut it out. Pretty much working with just any, any other type of material as far as working with um, cuts with scissors, rotor knife cutter, uh, you can use, um, you don't want to use a hot knife, but uh, automatic cutting table, uh, any other application, you, any other tool that you're using to cut with. Here's a couple of pa enclosure panels where the fabric's been already been cut and sewed and applied to the, the window material. Which I find best when when you're taking and trying to sew a couple pieces, this, this here is a, is a cover with a, with a two inch wide reinforcement being sewed on the edge. But take and uh, staple the pieces in place. It has less chance for puckering. It holds, holds it in place for you. I, I prefer this method of beef instead of double face tape. It just, I, I end, up, it res, end result is a lot much nicer. Here's an closure panel before it's sewed down to the glass. You can see all the strips of stand weight are already cut. They'll be sewed down and then trimmed down to fit. If you get any other, you don't want any more information, you can go to surgefry.com forward slash US or contact us at marketing.us at surgeferrari.com. And one of somebody from our from our team will get with you. Um, is there any questions at this point? Yes, if yes, anyone, anyone go ahead. OK, if anyone has questions, you can go ahead and unmute yourself or use the chat or raise your hand to do so. Um, there is one question here. What is the best way to mark on Stamoy? That's a good question. Um, lead, a regular lead pencil, when you mark on Stamoy, is a little bit hard to re remove, erase. But use a like a soft, like cra kids' Crayola pencils, very soft lead. You, you can write, you get multiple colors, you can write on, on the coated side of it comes off very easy with a white eraser like an art eraser uh, green ink pen works very well on any kind of pvc coated materials to mark on and it wipes off but use a green a blue or black is be pretty difficult to remove a green or red will, will, will come off pretty easily for you anything, um, anything else? i don't see any other questions well, i mean stop by our our, our our booth and leave your business card get a chance to win a, a pair of bose uh, noise cancellation headphones and also if you want it leave a business card and ask for sample cards and we'll send out whatever it is we can help you with or if you get any questions you want to talk about um after this presentation you know email it email us at marketing.us at, at search for and i'll get to the pro proper people for you all right thank you great thank you thank very you much Okay, thanks.